Hello. Good evening, sir. I just noticed how wonderfully cordial the new Vassal version is. It's like, hey, everything's cool and groovy, man. Enjoy your game. That's pretty awesome. Notice that. I'll take your word for it. Sure. Good evening, and welcome, everybody, to another exciting evening, even though my voice belies it. I've got an apple here, and I'm just waiting for Peter to tell the story so I can mute my mic and crunch away at my apple. So, Peter. Well, this, this isn't a very long story, so you might want to eat that. Okay. All take right. it away. So, tonight we're going to talk about Gnaeus Julius Agricola, council and governor of Britannia in 77 AD. Now, this is his third time in Britannia. He served previously in the Boudicca Revolution, so he's familiar with the territory, and he's returned as governor with ambitions of uniting the entire island. And we'll get to that little tidbit in a second. He's made famous through the laudatory biography of him written by his son-in-law, Publius Cornelius Tacitus, one of the great historians of the Roman age. But when it comes to Agricola, uh, most historians seem to think that he might have uh, embellished his father-in-law a little bit. The information he provides to us is a bit suspect. When Agricola returns to England, he quickly subdues the rest of Wales, as well as the island of Anglesey, and then he begins to build a series of forts throughout England, marching north toward what is now modern-day Scotland, which then was known as Caledonia. In 83 and 84 AD, he moves north along both the eastern and northern coasts using both land and naval forces, uh, campaigning successfully against the inhabitants, driving these proud Celtic warriors to unite against him in a Caledonian confederacy that was led by a man by the name of Calgacus. Now, Calgacus, the only information we have on him, because the Celts did not keep written records, is from Tacitus himself. We're not even sure if Calgacus was a real person or not. However, we do know that Agricola wins a significant victory at the Battle of Mons Grappius. And that's what we're going to talk about here tonight. Tacitus tells us that the number of Celts was about 30,000, and they were stationed on higher ground with their front ranks on level ground, consisting mainly of chariots. The other ranks rose up in tiers in the slopes of the hills in a horseshoe formation. The chariots, upon engaging the Roman forces, charged, followed by a hail of fire from their archers. Agricola put his auxiliaries in the front line and kept his legions in reserve, and he relied on quickly engaging the British forces and engaging them in close combat, where the blunted ended swords of the Celts were ineffective because they were used to swinging and slashing, not stabbing. This, of course, was devastating for the Caledonians, and they were cut down to a man, and that's when they melted away. About two-thirds of the army actually will escape this battle and later go on to harry the Roman forces throughout its occupation of Britain. Unfortunately for Agricola, he never does successfully conquer the entire island. He is soon called away back to Rome, and the forces that melt away continue to harry and harass Roman forces in the area for some time. As a result of this battle, Agricola does claim, or Tacticus claims for him, that all the tribes of Britain have been successfully subdued. He also instructs the prefect of his fleet to sail around the north coast, thus confirming that Britain is in fact an island. And that is basically our story tonight. Like I said, not a whole lot of information about it, and the information we do have is, as the kids like to say, sus. So why don't you, if you finish with your apple, tell us how we're going to fight tonight's battle. I have indeed completed the consumption of my Granny Smith apple. In honor of Agricola. All right, so let me open up the War Council here. And I see that we have another eh, discrepancy between the two leaders. I'm going to start with the Britons, so I will have Calgacus. 
and lowly four command cards. And Peter will start with Gnaeus Julius Agricola with his Roman six cards in his hand. They will, of course, get to move first. I'm telling you, the Romans get all the bennies. That's what the kids like to say, too. Anyway, six banners tonight will be the victory. The Romans will have the Julian Legions rule in effect for them. We do have one little extra little tidbit tonight to represent Agricola arriving with his uh, reinforcements. We are going to have those units... Reserves he never used, according to his son-in-law. Auxiliary did all the heavy lifting. These units right down here with Agricola, with the play of any a leadership any section card or an inspired leadership center command card, then the Roman player can take those and put them on any of the five baseline center hexes. And of course they can he can put Agricola with any of them that he chooses. They can battle in the hex that they arrive in, but they cannot move that turn, so it's a good emergency kind of backup if you need to, if something should go horribly wrong and those battle chariots are knocking on the Roman door, that might be something you'll use. So, yes, will they come into effect tonight? We just do not know. But that is our battle tonight. So there, there's a note here on commandandcolors.net that if this reserve force enters the battle, the Roman player needs seven banners to win while the Britain player still only needs six. Well, would you like to play with that rule tonight? I think so. Okay, yeah, that does seem to have a balancing mechanism for this. So we will we will implement that for our play tonight. Well, I think since you are the Romans and you are going first, it is only proper for you to draw your cards first. All right. Take all those juicy six command cards with your first strikes and your mounted charges and all that. <laughs> hey. well, uh, a couple a couple of those, yes. Sure. Let's so, see. Uh, given, given this hand, let me wish you good luck. Well, here's, You're going to need it. <laughs> here's luck one. No. No. Luck two. No. Luck three. Eh, maybe. Luck four. Okay. These are all terrible. So I'll just put that right out there. The folks at home can see it. And uh, thank you very much for the luck. I'll need it. Off you go. Off I go. All right. Think I'll try something bold. And spicy. Activate three units in the center. Those three. Really? The warriors are coming out to play already? We have the copyright on wild men, not you. All right. Well, I'll press my uh, my uh, my levies into battle mm. against their fellow Celts, um, and attack. Well, then we we must evade that. Right. Four dice. Leader support doesn't help me here. Need some green circles. Ooh, then Ooh. very good. And then my auxilia. One, so they can still fire. They will let loose with some short spears at that light infantry unit. Ow. Quit it. As will these. Us. The Romans draw first blood. Okay. Well, sir. I think we'll do three in the center. Hmm. Got the strangest sense of deja vu. <laughs> do those three. The barbarian light chariot here, so I can be refreshed on its many nuances. Yes, I will get three dice because they're uh, unbesmirched, and I do have leader bonus on that one. So we're going against your auxilia. 
So here's three dice plus leader. Getting two hits. Turn fire with three dice plus leader bonus. And I can ignore that sword, per the rules. You can ignore that sword, scores one. Ignore one sword rolled against it. There you go. All right. Uh, next, we will attack these warriors here with three dice plus leader bonus. Getting a hit. All right, so. Last chance to roll four dice in retaliation. Ooh. Ooh. Two hits. And at least one retreat you have to take. So we'll go up that hill. All right, then. I guess we will see if we can press it here with three dice plus leader bonus. Making them retreat, I hope. Uh, two hits. Three dice now. Back at you. Cool. A sword you could ignore. That is fantastic. All right. That is all. I can win a counterattack. If those same three units. First, we'll attack your chariot there. Three dice. All right. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. And uh, since this is their first battle, they will still have three dice with leader bonus. And wipe out those auxilia. Okay. okay. Centurion and his auxilia try to finish them off with three dice. Well, that, Two swords. Yes, we will get him. Tit for tat. Leader's prerogative. They will advance. And that one we will again. We will evade. Here we go with three dice. Do that. Two inspired center leadership. Hmm. That's a handy card. Yes, it is. And I played my two, three, and or attack. Right. I think we'll do this. Start with throw a spear at your centurion. One die. A hit. First leader check. Ooh, almost. All right. Um, these warriors will come screaming at their unfaithful Celtic brethren with four dice plus leader. Them out and come forth and attack this leader who has swayed them from the true faith. Four dice plus leader. I get two hits. There's another leader check. Nothing. All right, three dice back. Take up my scrappy. Then we'll attack these auxilia here with three dice plus leader bonus. Just getting a hit. And, and delivering it back. Hit back. All right. That is all for that. Two units on the left. And after
after your chariot. Of course you Three are. dice. Two hits. Advancing. Battling again. Uh, we can evade that. Yes, we shall. Okay, here we go. Three dice. Well evaded. Hmm. Yeah, attacking that auxilia. Three dice. One hit. We'll give you back three with leader bonus. Two hits. Leadership any section. After your medium cavalry there, three dice plus leader, take them out, Go forward, and attack this medium cavalry now with three dice plus leader. Leader check. Close. Three dice back at you. There's a hit. Right. And a leader check. Oof, we're so close today. All right. Um, we're going to do a range attack on that light cav with one spear. And we're going to do... they're supported, so yeah, we'll give it a shot. We can have the opportunity to withdraw here if you like. I will obey. Okay, so here's two dice. Looking for triangles only. That is all. What are my mounted troops? After that light infantry first with two dice. Nothing. Two back with leader bonus. Nothing. Go after your chariot there. Um yeah, we'll evade. Okay. Three dice. Look up some green circles. Ah. There we go. Pesky leader survives. Attack those light infantrymen. Can't evade. And inflict a hit and a retreat on them. Oh, hit and a two block retreat. And they'll fight back with two dice. Doing nothing. The retreat. Okay. Hey. Now, let's move the action over here. We'll go after that barbarian chariot. And they will evade. Three dice. Evade. Okay. Light infantry will go after the light cavalry. Or, Same. I'm sorry, the light cavalry <laughs> will go after the light infantry. Regardless, they will evade. All right. Two dice. All tied up. Mm -hmm. To counterattack that, I will order. Or mounted. I will order my mounted. You do have four left. I do.
All right. Let's see what we can do here. Go against your cav on cav. Okay. What would they like to do? I'll stand. Okay. There's two dice coming at you. Nothing. And Nothing. Nothing. Slap and tickle. Alright. We're gonna go here with three dice. Getting one hit. Two dice back with leader support. One hit. We will do this one now. Two dice. And one hit. Two dice back. Oof. Mm. Two hits. Alright, well, let's see if these battle chariots can finish them with four dice, or excuse me, three dice. Uh, another one! Wow, that's terrible. This is... Uh, ooh! Alright, well, put it out there for you. Mm. Activate some medium troops. Yeah, you can mop it up right here. Mm. All right. Let's see. Over here. And light infantry with three dice and leader support. Cavalry from down the hill, so I'm limited to two dice. Right? That is correct. Here you go. Two dice coming downhill. Oh. Nothing. There's two dice back up the hill. And a flag. That was unexpected. And three dice against your chariot. One hit. Here he is. Three back. Nothing. Over our mediums. there. And sadly, old Calgacus can't move very far. So he'll just come down the hill. Let's see if you can't put it away. Mm, all right, we'll start here in the middle. With three dice. That's, uh, that's possible. Let's do a leader check. One die. It's fine. Okay, so he's not going to advance. I'll come down to this one. Blocked in with four dice. Got him. Come down the hill. Attack again. What would they like to do? They will evade. So four dice looking for triangles only. Close. Here's a leader check. Oh, wrong symbol! Okay, and then over here, what these like to do? Four dice, triangles only. Nothing. 
bitterly fought. Hmm. Very careful. Or I could gamble. You do like to gamble, and it usually pays off. All right. I could try the sure thing and try and eliminate at least one block and even the score, but then that puts you in a winning position. Or I could go for broke and gamble and see if I can't get lucky. So here we go. <laughs> you do love to invoke the name. All right. Here we go. Six dice. Come on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That, that's you got a lot of potential there. There's there's some stuff here. There's some stuff here. Okay. One blue, three green, and one any. Those units. over there so this is effectively what i was going to try and do anyway hmm. just a better chance of it succeeding all right three dice from this auxilia your chariot leader hit okay. two retreats so that will have... do that Take a pot shot at that medium cavalry. Nothing. We'll let fly off a hail of arrows at those warriors. Huh. Scoring a retreat. Okay. So, sudden death. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in a fairly good spot. That retreat actually helps because I was worried about those warriors. But you've still got a unit of warriors with a leader in charge position. So let's see what you got up your sleeve. Hmm. Well, sir, I think we do have to do that. Hmm. And that was really good timing on behalf of getting that warrior out of there because I had a plan for him. Uh, might as well activate him. Leave a path just in case. Actually, you know what? Let's do Okay. We'll start with this one here. With four dice plus leader bonus. And there it is! Whew! Oh. Man, this one. This one could have gone... Wow. This one, I think, has some subtleties to it that uh, I have not identified yet. This is really unfortunate, you know. But luckily, I've got another leader down here. But you use that warrior. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, you use that leader very well. Yeah. So. But uh, that that Calgacus, I think, is like fool's gold because they've got him attached to a very potent medium, but they're not going anywhere fast. So I'm not going to waste time. And I never had anything that I, I did have that one activate a couple in the center, but I didn't want to use it on moving a leader. Um, and when you, you know, you gave me the chance by having him retreat back and attaching to the warriors so that was a good thing but uh well we'll we'll take our little halftime break here and we'll be back with round number two we're back with round number two it is time for me to take the romans minus agricola we don't know where he showed up but he's he's off doing his thing oh yeah he's dictating his memoirs he, to tacitus he doesn't sell himself with with these celts that's right. He's a governor. He's a he's a consul. All right. Well, I will then uh, draw my six cards first. I have them. 
see if I can duplicate your skill and luck from the last battle. Mostly luck. I mean, some of those guys held out to the very bitter end, which was nice. But having the ability to ignore a sword for those battle chariots is, is quite nice. And I was able to evade a lot, so that seems to be the Britain's best friend. All right. What Hit I... and fade. Hit and fade. Let's do a coordinated attack. Hmm. Do these three. So, left, center, and right. Oh my. We'll start on the left. What would that battle chariot like to do? Vade. Vade. All right, three dice. Looking for green circles. Nothing. Stayed. And we'll go on to the right flank. That battle chariot, I presume, similarly? No, I did so well the last time, I'm going to stay. <laughs> okay, three. And you're going to roll three green circles. <laughs> you have invoked the word. Here we go, three dice. I'll ignore that sword, thank you oh, very much. Oh, that is true. I see. I'll return with three dice. Get two swords. Yikes. It went so well on paper. All right. We'll go with the warriors. The only light unit that I can think of, actually. Oh, no. Auxilia can use swords. So. Now here, I'm going to evade. Away! Four dice. Green circles only. Getting two. That's nice. Here's leader check. Nothing. And that is my coordinated attack. Hmm. Two in the center. Probably fixating here, but uh. Targeting your warriors. Do a first strike. Oh. <laughs> uh, that sound means it's working. There's four dice. Yes! Hit them and force them away! Takes a hit. Ignores one flag. Mm -hmm. Treats two. Stuck. So yeah. they're going to fight back with four dice with leader support. That is correct. Also... There you go. Hit, ignore one, and take... Fall back. Mm. Yeah, I hate to waste it on this, but I don't think I'm going to get a better shot. So, I'll use those. So we're going to do... That poor Auxilia is stuck, so... He is. So here's five dice on that Auxilia. Come on, boys. And get there you go. two hits. Get them back. Hmm. And Send them packing. All right. And over here, there will also be five dice. What would they like to do? I'm going to risk it. He's risking it, people of the world. All right, here's five dice. And we get one hit and one retreat. Treat. Didn't think about that. Oh, poo. And they will advance. Battle again against these lights. Just the regular battle dice now. What would they like to do? Stand as well. Okay. Three dice. A hit and a retreat. Always with the retreats. <laughs> 
that is all. Oh, you know what? I forgot to draw my first strike back, so there we go. I'm all caught up now. All right. Oh. Couldn't get you on the fight back. I'm just going to get you this way. Three dice. That'll do. To a mounted charge. We have studied your tactics and found them to be quite effective. This one first with four dice plus leader bonus. This might be your night, Patrick. I don't know. We'll see. He's going to advance, move one, and battle again. It's these warriors with four dice. Get them. Figure you are going to evade. We'll just do that. Yeah. So green circles only. Just one. Uh, oh, I had one more on that one, so forgot the mounted charge. Duh. Here's one die for that remainder. So one more hit on him. Alright. Uh, and then this one will go after your mediums. Medium on medium. Four dice. Leader bonus. Advance. Lights can't move. That's right. So we will battle them with four dice plus leader. Forcing a retreat. I'll do it. Well done. Almost. Not quite there yet. You know how I can gamble away. Alright, so this one is, yeah, just one die for the light. Get a flag. Alright. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Well. Not much I can do here. All right. Four dice on that medium cavalry. Evade that. Well evaded. Oh, three dice. Two swords and a retreat. Hit hit. any section. Do those two. Um. Mm. You could move the light cavalry all the way up. I could, yeah, five. right. Uh, I figured what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just try and figure that you are going to evade that one and just go for uh, try to get one green circle in three. Three dice. Okay. Yeah. We're going to try that one. So. Uh, I'm going to stay. You're going to stay? I'm going to stay. Even better. Here's three dice. So I get to ignore sword, so. But now I get the leader. But 
but you do get the leader. <sighs> yeah, might as well. I mean, okay. I've lost anyway. Okay, so. here's three dice. There you go. Wow. <laughs> they are bold. Yeah, well done, sir. Thank you very that's, much. That's how you do it. Yeah. I don't know what I don't know what the hell I was doing. Nah, was, uh, Jeez. Yeah, that mounted charge quite the potent friend to the Romans tonight. So final score tonight. First game I had six. Peter had five. Yeah. Twelve to six. Good job. Wow. That's that's gonna help. Six blocks ahead tonight. Gosh, I am stunned by this good fortune. So, uh, thank you. That, that was that was a good. I mean, it, either. Literally, the first one we know could have gone either way. This one, I think, if you had gotten your footing, if I had had I, hesitated, I yeah, with four cards again, that's you get some dreck in there, and that's that's really difficult. I have some good cards, but I have like a line command, but your forces are broken up with chariots, so you can't really effectively use a line command. Even very much so. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what what do you think uh, overall of of this one? interesting I, I think this is the more predictable outcome more by a roman route than anything else i i just think uh i had a poor showing in the first battle and you did amazingly well so i don't know the, how balanced this really is i i tend to think this will favor the romans over the britons it does seem that way i was surprised how close the first one was as well but i'm also just i'm still kind of uh focused on the the fool's gold nature of both these leaders, because you know they did not factor in at all. There's enough leadership around the board. Yeah, I mean the Romans start with three leaders already, so right. you don't need Agricola or those heavy units. Right. You got three medium cavalry and a unit you know, of warriors. That that's your heavy lifting there, plus that auxilia. Yeah, I was really. You were talking about good card draws. I had Clash of Shields. I had first strike right out of the gate. I had the mounted charge, and those were, I mean, those were instrumental in this because they just, you, I came right out of the gate. I think you and I both did the same thing. You went right for the battle chariots, and I think they were both equally effective. Uh, the warriors, I think, probably were the most successful for both of us in the center against that because you presume that the, the leader is going to evade, and uh, and rightfully so. The first game definitely was maneuver heavy because we were chasing each other's flanks and a lot of trying to cut off retreat paths and i wanted to make sure that i utilized the cavalry in the second game before that became a factor but, you know because once those battle chariots start rolling that's really a headache for the romans uh, but good game good game i don't i, I don't care what oh, it looks wow. like it's still i mean this was a lot of fun for I, playing both sides of it i really uh, i thought uh, have nuances that are interesting and things to consider so you won't see it because i will trim a lot of that time out but there was one point where peter's like hello <laughs> are you there like i'm thinking <laughs> it's your turn i know well but it, yeah, after you played the first strike card i thought maybe you would you was maybe you had a thought maybe you had already gone oh so. right 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 yeah this is a great one um I, I would definitely play this one again we will we will leave it here and we will move on Again, I think forward in time to our next story. I haven't looked at it, but uh, I will be doing the research for it this week. And this is where we send you off. If this is your first time to the channel, hello and welcome. Hope you're going to enjoy the remainder of this, but we've got playlists for each of the uh, major games and expansions for Commands and Colors Ancients. So go back and watch those through. I'm also, I've also got one curated list, which is chronological so as these are completed i pop them into their uh into the historical timeline so theoretically you could watch all the way back from the battle of marathon all the way i think this one literally is the farthest forward in time that we've gotten and we're getting more and more as the imperial roman period continues on and when we're done with all of this we're going to move on to commands and colors medieval thanks for joining us Take a moment to click that like and subscribe button here on the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you to all of our supporters. I'm showing you them right now. Yeah, you are not at all required or expected to contribute, but the shekels that you kick in do make a difference, so we really appreciate it. Uh, Peter, have a great week. Thanks for a fun night of gaming. Thank you. Yeah. 
And uh, we will see you here next time, friends. Good night. Good night.